Honky Tonk Man is in the building. Always out of tune, yet always so confident. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds. The Honky Tonk Man. This is a showman in a class by himself. Well, you can always count on Honky to take shortcuts, take the low road. Well, it has worked out for him. One of the longest reigning intercontinental champions in history. My sources tell me that after tonight's victory, we're going to be treated to a VIP concert. Honky Tonk Man, just the classics. Lucky us. One of the coolest and most confident competitors ever. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Scott Hall is a history maker, not just on the microphone, but inside the ring as well. We use the term game changer quite often, but before our eyes is quite literally a man who changed the entire industry. You know, I hate to say it, but Scott Hall actually makes being bad look kind of good. I hate to say this, but occasionally you're right, Saxton. Ha <laughs> ha! One more for the good guy. This match is underway here, and the Honky Tonk Man will target an area of an opponent's anatomy and attack it with everything he's got. People became enamored with Honky Tonk's musical stylings, but forget that he's a tremendous competitor with an in-ring IQ that is sky high. Regardless of your approve of how the Honky Tonk Man conducts himself, you can't dispute his success. But we have to acknowledge a superstar like Scott Hall and the absolute disregard that Hall, someone who is immensely talented in the ring, has for his opponents is the kind of thing that makes him such a dangerous competitor. And don't forget Hall's towering size and mouth that can jab you just as hard as his fists. Oh, wow. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Scott Hall is a big and strong superstar, but it's also his devil-may-care attitude that makes him such a... From the top! Elbow drop! Good Lord! A little disrespect directed Hall's way there. Yeah, and that could be a building block for the Honky Tonk Man to build upon. Big forearm. Oh, and back of the elbow. Snap bears their opponent and drops the elbow for good measure. Measured up, and fist drop. Honky Tonk in full force here now. And you gotta hand it to him. Hall got too cocky, and this guy is smartly capitalizing on that. Wards off that offense from Hall. What a punch. the corner and responds with a counter of their own. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh! Uncorked a big punch. Scott Hall is really falling behind. Hall's just trying to weather the storm. Oh! And a forearm smash. Leaving himself open here. Oh, from the top rope! Snap there from the top rope! Look out! Oh, man! And, uh, wait, wait, yeah, guys, it, 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 it hasn't ended yet. Look who's here. 
It's about to get a little more crowded. I cannot believe this right now. You might not believe it, Saxton, but it's happening. Trying to put this thing away. Shoulders down, roll up. Somehow breaks the count immediately. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? What a punch! Got Hall. He's got a runner and wants him. Up and... Summers it! That can finish Honky Tonk off. Sweat put into this match, well worth it. Here is your winner, Scott Hall. Oh, yeah, they kept their focus and eked out the victory. It was definitely the result of keeping their head in the game in this one. See, the distraction didn't even phase them in the long run. Corey, they won in spite of it. I don't know. I think it gave them the motivation they needed to win this one. For someone who loves the sound.